Well, stay with us on this channel because we're about to start the men's individual B sprints. This is for the visually impaired riders. And we'll be starting off with the opening race between Anthony Capes and Craig McLean of Great Britain against Alberto Nat Kemper and Jonathan Itahurat of Argentina. Just a word about the classifications in cycling. If you haven't been watching it before at the Paralympics, this is the B sprint, B referring to athletes with a visual impairment. They're on a tandem bicycle, as you can see, with the sighted pilot, the man at the front, but effectively both doing the work. It all comes down effectively to judging the various impairments of these athletes and making as level a playing field as possible here at the superb velodrome at the London Olympic Park. So we're underway, six laps of this race. Neil Fatchy and Barney Story. Quarterfinals, by the way. We've had the qualifying already against uh, Alberto Lujan Nat Kemper and uh, Jonathan Itorat of Argentina. Itorat, the pilot of the Argentine tandem bicycle. Fatchi of Great Britain is quite an athlete, by the way. He ran at the Beijing Paralympics um, and was of interest to the cycling coaches who impressed with his performance. It's not the first time, of course, this has happened in cycling, quite often uh, in sports. Um, and we'll have a stop while the chain is put back on uh, the bicycle. That's a shame for the Argentine uh, pairing. Certainly, athletes do swap sports we've seen it before in the likes with the likes of uh, Rebecca Romero in the Olympic rowing and cycling seen it in the past as well with uh, winter and Olympic sports with the likes of Marcus Adam and uh, John Regis British sprinters of years gone by taking up Olympic bobsleigh so Fachi was uh, a runner in the last Olympics Capes his partner double gold in Beijing despite having a broken shoulder.
That's the Spanish team who are going to go later on. Jose Enrique Porto Lareo and Jose Antonio Dad uh, Villanuevo up against the Greek pairing of Christos Stefanakis and Konstantinos Toulinos, the pilots for that Greek side. That's the Greek pairing there of uh, Stefanakis, Christos Stefanakis and Konstantinos Trulinos, age 20 and 31 respectively, up against the Spanish pair of Jose Enrique Porto Lareo and Jose Antonio Villanueva Trinidad. Close to an age, 34 and 33. Trinidad, the pilot of that tandem bicycle. So six laps to go of this race and expect, as ever, if you're new to seeing this event at uh, track cycling, them to be quite cagey for the opening part of this race as they sound each other out and decide whether to make a tactical move up the bank of this uh, velodrome or indeed stay low. Opening pairing constantly having to keep an eye on their Greek opponents behind them to see exactly where they're going to go. One of the advantages of being behind in this race. An impressive surface though to race on. The uh, cyclists at the Olympics saying that it was a fast circuit. The wood made from Siberian pine we understand. And certainly we saw some world records broken the other day in the track cycling and indeed all the way through the Olympics. 
So Porto Herreo and Villanueva Trinidad of Spain ahead of that Greek pairing of Stefanakis and Trulinos in the blue of Greece as the pace steps up. Greek side toying with the Spanish team going inside and outside not allowing them the luxury of knowing which way they're going to go be it up to the top of the track or a sudden cut down to the sprint maneuver on the inside Spain can take the initiative by holding that inside line but we're coming up to the bell for the final lap and the Greek side divides to put the hammer down and try and take the Spanish side on the outside but the Spanish team wary of the Greek threat holding their line coming into their bend and uh, comfortably holding off the challenge from the Greek pairing best of three in the quarterfinals first one to Spain 62.015 kilometers an hour the average time of these cyclists on these tandem bicycles recording a time of 11.610 thinking to be done for the uh, Greek side less so for this Spanish pairing So we're going back to the first race, which uh, was curtailed, as you may have seen a few minutes ago, when the Argentine bike lost its chain. Neil Fachi and Barney Storey. Jonathan Ithorat the Argentine pilot along with Alberto Lujan, Nat Kemper and it's the Argentine pairing who have the lead and are setting an early pace for the British pair to follow great deal of success come the way of the British cycling team in recent years at Olympics and Paralympic level and of course as well as that on the uh, on the road for the likes of Bradley Wiggins in this year's Tour de France Mark Cavendish the sprinter didn't have the best tour this year because he was ably supporting Wiggins but they of course have been part of British cycling on the track an awful lot of expertise stemming from the uh, funding to cycling in this country and the building of a velodrome for the Commonwealth Games in Manchester a few years ago and they've been reaping dividends with success in the Olympics and Paralympics with the likes of 
Darren Kenny, notably in the last two Paralympic Games. Sir Chris Hoy, Victoria Pendleton in the last two Olympic Games in Beijing and London. Now Fatshi and Story with a chance to make a name for themselves against Nat Kemper and Itahurat of Argentina. And as you can imagine, there's a passionate, noisy home crowd at the Velodrome in London. Watching the home team take the initiative as they head down to the final 250 metres. Neil Fanchi and Barney Story decide to put the hammer down and let's see if they can hold off the Argentine pairing. First race to Great Britain in the best of three of this quarterfinals of the men's individual B sprint. By the way, if you are confused very slightly over the categories and it's easily done, we do recommend you go to the Paralympic.org website where everything is explained. Certainly this one is quite simple. It comes down to uh, a B class, which is visual impairment, hence the, uh, the piloting that the uh, cyclists have on their tandem bicycles. And that was the manoeuvre there that somewhat took the Argentine pairing by surprise once Britain got in the lead. Fachi and Story weren't going to concede that to the Argentine pair of Itjorat and Nat Kemper. Well, next up will be the Netherlands against Japan with Rene Oost and Patrick Boss, the Netherlands side uh, seen here. Patrick Boss, the uh, pilot on that tandem bicycle for the Netherlands. And uh, Taksuyuki Oshiro and Yasufumi Ito, the Japanese pairing. Ito, the pilot on their tandem bicycle. Certainly is the Dutch side going into this race who are uh, highly ranked, uh, possibly favourites alongside the, uh, um, the British pairing of Anthony Cap and Craig McLean for gold medal in this competition. First of all, they've got to get past this Japanese pairing of Ishiro and Itu.
Well, this Dutch pairing of Rini Oost and Patrick Boss just keeping a very wary eye on their opponents from Japan of uh, Tasuyuki Oshiro, Yasufumi Ito, who decided to go for the inside line and sees the initiative in this race. Ustam Boss going to have to put the hammer down to try and reel them back in because it's been an early break by the Japanese. Question is whether they can keep the pace going into the final lap. 250 metres to go from this stage. Here comes the Dutch pair. They're not going to make it. Japan taking race one, somewhat against the run of play. Delight for them, and that's an initiative that they seized some 500 metres out and held on to. So a first win for Tashiyuki Oshiro and Yashufimi Itu for Japan in race one of this quarterfinal. Over six laps at the velodrome. The Japanese pairing surprising their Dutch uh, counterparts. Also recording the fastest time we've seen so far in these quarterfinals. 65.843 kilometers an hour. Faster than the uh, previous high speed posted by the Spanish pairing of uh, Jose Enrico Porta Lareo and Jose Antonio Villanueva Trinidad. They had 62.015 kilometers an hour. Thank <laughs> you. 